A kitty election, Apostle Suleiman fires back at presidency over failed prophecy Apostle Johnson Suleiman of the Omega Fire Ministries, has lambasted President Muhammadu Buhari's special assistant on new media, Loretta Onochi for attacking him over the outcome of the Akiti state governorship election. Suleiman said Onochi was dragging the presidency into the gutters. Quote, in a prophecy, Apostle Suleiman had said the People's Democratic Party, PDP, would emerge winner of the just-concluded Akiti state election. But, the reverse was the case as the All Progressives Congress, a PC, candidate, Kuyade Fuyemi was declared winner of the election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Reacting, Onochi described the cleric as not being in talking terms with God. In a tweet, Onochi wrote, Pastor who is not in talking terms with God but who continues to lie with God's name. However, Suleiman described the remark by Onochi as a poorly executed hatchet job and bare lies. A statement by the Omega Fire Ministry's spokesman, Mr. Frank Schaber said, It is common knowledge that the quality of media management in the nation's presidency has taken a nosedive since President Muhammadu Buhari took office, but the presidency hit a new low on Sunday when Onochi threw all pretenses to the wind to rubbish a man of God with her unguarded vituperations and outright spewing of hate. He said, Even if the primary school pupil had written that tweet, the lies told therein could not have been so recklessly blatant and so devoid of any shred of professionalism. The statement noted that Onochi lifted the purported prophesy from the wall of a Facebook user who has since pulled the post down after discovering that it was false and unverifiable. Shaber said, isn't it unbecoming that a presidential spokesperson is propagating an unverified report? Apostle never made the purported statement being credited to him at any fora and I challenge her to provide a contrary source to the one I just mentioned to produce any shred of evidence to support her claim. But we hasten to say that we sympathize with Loretta Onochi as we know that life itself has not been fair to her. Our appeal is that she should not vent her frustration on the church. The other day, it was the Christian Association of Nigeria can, that she attacked. Today, it is Omega Fire Ministries. Who knows which church is next? After careful examination, we think that Loretta Onochi is burdened by the challenges of life and is gradually going off her rocker. If not, why should anybody in his or her right frame of mind, not even a presidential aide, sit down in one corner of his or her room, pick up a fable on social media and then begin to broadcast it on social media, Shaber said contrary to Onochi's assertion, Apostle Suleiman is a non-partisan man of God, who's constituency is the church and has people of different political divides as members. Our major point of departure from the Buhari-led administration is the senseless massacre of harmless Christians across the country and Omega Fire Ministries will not keep quiet until the day Christians and Nigerians are at large consider their country as a safe haven, the statement said. Think your friend would be INTRESTED? Share this story using any of the share button below down arrow place your text advert below greater than 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 loading. Share your story with us via email, info at 247nigerianewsupdate.co Receive news via our WhatsApp, kindly text 234,701056-03942 to add you, click here to join us on our YouTube channel for news update Click here to join us on Twitter for instant news update at 247NGNEWSUPDATE -E. Click here to join millions around the globe to read news on our Facebook fan page for instant updates on Instagram Click here receive instant news update via our BBM broadcast D3EDEFDF -E